Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of 1 Timothy. Today we're beginning to look at chapter 4 of 1 Timothy. And in this chapter, Paul is returning to the topic of false teachers. And again, the danger of false teaching in the church. Now this is how he began the letter. You remember the very opening of chapter 1, he had reminded Timothy, I left you in Ephesus that you might leave the church there and not allow false teaching in the church, not allow false doctrines to be taught. He had emphasized that very strongly in chapter 1. Now, he had given us some clues in chapter 1 as to what the false teaching was. It, it had to do with myths and endless genealogies and legalism. Remember, he had said these false teachers proclaim themselves to be teachers of the law, but they have no idea what they are talking about. And from that, we, we understand part of their false teaching was a legalistic emphasis that you're saved by the keeping of the law the way we're showing you. Paul said, I reject that. We're not saved by the law. We're saved by grace and grace alone. So don't allow that false teaching in the church. And then after that initial warning, he, he talked about life in the church and he gave instructions for how the church ought to be organized to, to hold true to the gospel of Christ. And now he is returning again to those false teachers because they're such a danger. And he gives some more insight into who they were and what they were teaching and how Timothy must refute them. Now let's begin to look at chapter 4 and see what Paul says. Again, going back to the subject of these false teachers. The Spirit clearly says that in later times, some will abandon the faith. And they will follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose consciences have been seared as with a hot iron. Now, these are some strong words. Paul wants us to understand that these false teachers are actually abandoning the Christian faith. When they abandon the gospel of grace, when they abandon the teaching we're saved by faith through grace alone, when they emphasize legalism, they, they're, not just, they're not just espousing a different opinion. It's not just a slight difference of opinion. They are abandoning the Christian faith, and they're encouraging other people to abandon Jesus. They are actually calling people to live in a way that no longer follows Jesus as Lord. That is why they are such a danger. Paul says these people are liars, and they are hypocrites. Because though they claim to be Christian, they are teaching doctrine that is not Christian at all. He goes on to say, they are following deceiving spirits and doctrine taught by demons. In other words, this false teaching is demonically inspired. Its origin is with the enemy. You know, Paul makes it quite clear that we have an enemy of our soul, the devil or Satan. And he attempts to lead us away from following Christ. And he attempts to destroy the church by introducing false doctrine in it. These false teachers, Paul says, are motivated by demonic spirits. Now, that's not to say they're demon-possessed. That's not what he means. But he means their teaching comes from demonic sources, sources that want to lead people away from Christ. And so they've begun to teach that, which leads people away from Jesus. And when you're leading people away from Jesus, that is a danger to the, their eternal souls. This is why Paul is so strong. You must not allow this false teaching in the church. You must not allow this false doctrine because it leads people away from Christ and it imperils their eternal soul. You know, we need to hear that because one of the plagues in the church today is false teachers who teach doctrines that are, are not in harmony with Christian faith. They are actually encouraging the church to abandon the faith. Now listen to that. When you have false teachers in the church, they are encouraging people to abandon the faith and to abandon Jesus Christ. That's why we must stand against false teaching. That's why we must hold to the doctrine of the Bible and hold to the, 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 the core truth of the faith as has been handed down through the ages. Any abandoning of that core doctrine of the Christian faith is an abandoning of following Jesus. And it's inspired by demons. That's what Paul says. So he says, Timothy, you've got to stand against these people. We know false teachers will come, but we must stand against them by holding to the truth. It's that important. Now, tomorrow we'll continue to look at this. Paul gives some more details on what these false teachers were proclaiming. 
and why they, they were trying to lead people away from Jesus. So we'll, we'll look at that in a little more detail tomorrow. So join us for our next five-minute Bible study in the book of First Timothy.